if you get your day nails. There we go. Bill! <laughs> you want the lid back? Oh, you're just going to sit putting the lid on and off. Show me your dinosaurs. Yay! Which one you got? The red one. Put it back together. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Clever boy. Do you love your big box of dinosaurs? Good morning everyone. So I'm currently just in Leeds with all of my friends because we're coming shopping today. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen these guys in so long. How long has it been? Like five it's months? Like eight months? Eight months? Yeah, it's been so eight long since I've seen them. And we thought we'd come out today and we're about to go to Barbarito to get a burrito. So we just got our burritos. I got a really nice veggie one. Abby, what did you go for? I went for a pork burrito. Oh, yeah, I'm meant to be pork free. Abby! <laughs> oh my gosh. And then we got some nachos. Cheese nachos. And what did you get? We got chicken. Chicken. <laughs> Little man's feeling very sorry for himself, aren't you? Are you watching Peppa Pig? Hey? He's snuggling up with one of my baby and me comforters. Oh, he's loving playing with this ring part here. Oh, what is it? Oh, he's done playing now. Anyway, guys, excuse the Peppa Pig noise in the background. Me and Jace have had a little play this morning. We've been playing with his new dinosaurs, which he's absolutely obsessed with. Thank you. He's just not feeling too great today. And let me tell you guys, last night was the worst night. We, we were right back to the newborn stage last night. We got, n yeah, no sleep at all. I didn't actually go to bed until like 1am because we're just so, so busy at the minute. We've got so much to do and sort out. So I went to bed at about 1 and then he woke up at 3 and that was it then. That was it. He was awake for the whole night, literally crying all night. Really randomly though, because he was actually crying in his sleep. He didn't wake up. Jace has got this, I think I've mentioned it on here before, but he's got this comfort of nipping and I need to try and get him out of it because if he grows like up doing that and nips another child, it's gonna really hurt. But he's doing it to my arm right now and he's not doing it to be naughty. He's just doing it because it's like a comfort to him. But he, go, he gets your neck and he's like nips it and it's the only way that will settle him when he's crying to let you nip your, to let him nip your arm. He just likes the feel of it, I don't know why. What are you doing? <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so we've got no sleep last night. I've got so much to do today. I've got the final few blankets to photograph and get up on my website ready for tomorrow's launch. And so what I thought I'd do right now, a clothing haul. So we've got a trip coming up and I thought I'd show you guys some summer outfits that I've bought for mainly Jace in this because the girls obviously got a lot of clothing from Sheen. However, when I looked on Sheen for Jace, I just wasn't impressed, to be honest. They didn't have a big variety. What they did have, I didn't like the look of. And an advert popped up on, I can't remember where, I think it might have been Facebook, for another company very similar to Sheen called Pat Pat, Pat Pat, I think it's Pat Pat. So I bought some clothes on there, I made an order on there, and it was quite a big order, I will admit. And it's all arrived, it's all here at the side of me. Um, I was quite surprised when it came that um, it also comes in these little bags, and I'm actually quite happy that it comes in these little bags because it will be able to, it will enable me to keep his outfits all together and in one bag to get him ready in the morning. I might even put like a nappy and a pair of socks in each bag so that just need to get a bag out and we're ready and good to go for the day. But yeah, some of these clothes on here, oh my goodness. Like I say, I wasn't impressed with Sheen for toddlers, babies at all. But I love the look of them on Pat Pat. Don't know what the quality is like because I haven't opened any yet, but let's go. Let's see, Jace. Also, I love that um, Pat Pat specialised in doing things like matching. Isla especially has become, she loves matching anyone. And I was able to get her and Jace loads of matching outfits. And then also me and her, a couple of matching dresses, which she's literally so excited about. So the first thing is this, okay. So it's a little outfit. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. <gasps> oh babe, look at those. Sorry, Chris is here. <laughs> this top oh my gosh I love this so it's a pair of little um, baggy shorts with this top oh my goodness I can't remember exactly how much all these clothes were but they were all like about seven pounds an outfit something like that they were super cheap 
um, to go with this. Oh, I love that. I'm already so impressed. Really good quality as well. I um, thought they might be really thin and see-through, but that doesn't look too bad to me at all, especially considering it's white. So that's outfit number one. Number two is actually an all-in-one, and I got this for, oh my gosh, I love it. I'm, I'm so impressed. <laughs> look how cute that is on the back of the hood. So it's like a really thin all-in-one. This is thin, but I wanted it thin. I didn't want like a really thick thing. This is so cute. Um, so it's a little cute fox design and I'm a bit, it does say good night on it, but obviously you wouldn't put a child to bed in this because it's got like a hood on it. So you wouldn't put a child to bed in this even though it does say good night. Maybe it just means good night to the fox. It's still a really, really cute design. I love that. So the next outfit is these cute little adorable mustard type shorts. The materials are really, really nice and these I was worried they might be a bit, a bit stiff but they're not at all. The only thing that I would say is that there's tiny little bits of thread um, in one or two places. I don't know if you can see that there. Um, it's not a big deal to me, especially for the price you pay. I'll just snip that off with some scissors. But yeah, they're really, really cute. And then to match that, look at that. Oh my God, that's so cute. Oh, it looks so adorable in this. Next up is another short and shirt. Shorts and shirt set similar to the one I just showed you guys. The lighting on this camera keeps going crazy, so I apologize, guys. The light is because I'm sat near the window and the sun keeps coming up and going back down. Um, but basically, it's these orange shorts to match this dinosaur shorts. Dino oh my gosh, dinosaur shirt. Um, same as the other one, super nice, nice quality. I, like, I absolutely love that these are clothes that you wouldn't necessarily find in like the, the shops here. And so I really, really like those. Next is another shorts and top set. These are actually denim shorts. They do look quite big. I'm not sure how they'll fit, but they look quite big here. On, I guess our baby's ones do because obviously you've got to make space for a nappy. But what do they say? Mm, what does even that say? Oh, I'm thinking actually, there's actually a few pieces of thread here that I didn't even notice a minute ago. Might be hard to see because of the black. But um, like I said, it's not a big deal. I'll just cut them off. And that comes with this really cute dinosaur t-shirt. Next up is another all-in-one similar to the fox one I just showed you. This one actually I don't think looks as nice in real life as what it looks like on the website. It's a lot thinner. But saying that, for the trip that we're doing, it's going to be warm and so I didn't want anything too thick anyway. So I guess it's a good thing. But it's another all-in-one and it's another little fox one. And yeah, it's quite see-through, but it's still nice and cute. And I'm guessing that the little bit of see-through won't matter if you have like a vest underneath anyway. I don't think because of the color it will show too much anyway. Let me see if I can see. Yeah, there you go. It's not very see-through. It's just a lot thinner than what I expected it to be. I also bought this cute little jungle theme romper. It's very similar to what you'd get kind of here in the supermarket shops or Primark, etc, etc. But this feels so soft. Like, this is definitely the nicest feeling one out of all of them. And this actually feels much better quality than like supermarkets, Asda, Primark and things like that. It feels so soft and so nice. And I absolutely love the print as well. Oh my goodness, I love this next one. This is just like my style of clothing. I absolutely love babies and toddlers in like really bright, vibrant colors. And if not in vi bright, I cannot talk today. If not in bright, vibrant colors, then in ones like this. Oh my gosh, let me go to show you guys this one. Look how cute that is. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love this. This will be so, so cute for a toddler to be toddling around in. Oh my goodness, the quality feels really nice. I like the buttons, I like that they're white instead of like plain. I love this, so cute. So this one actually looks a lot bigger than the other clothes, even though they're all in 12 to 18 months. If you can't dress your child up as a banana when they're young, then when can you? <laughs> I bought this beautiful banana outfit just because I thought it was so cute and I can just imagine Jace running around like a banana. <laughs> he actually loves bananas and he always points at bananas. He's got like um, an all-in-one with bananas on it and his sleeping bag's got bananas on it and he always points out the bananas. So I thought he'd really like this. But like I say, it is a lot bigger than the other sizes. Still really nice, I'm happy with this. Next up is another short set. This is like a camo, camo, camouflage? 
camouflage set and it comes with these little shorts and then this top which looks so cute. This kind of looks small. No, I think that'll fit Jason actually. I think that'll fit him nice. Um, I think that's super cute. Same quality as everything else. I'm quite, quite happy with it. And I think that'll look adorable on. So the next one is another all-in-one. And I actually really, really love this one. I bought one of these from Next like a few weeks ago. It was actually short. So this one's a long one for like double the price. And this quality is feels just as good to me as the one I got from Next. It's very similar, the one from Next had like a green thing on the back. But I really, really like this. It's got it all the way up the hood and it's got dinosaurs on it which Jace loves. So I'm really, really impressed with this one. This next one is going to be quite difficult to show you guys because it's all screwed up um, just because of how it's been packaged, I guess. But it does look really, really cute and I can't wait to iron it and see what Jace looks like with it on. It's this super cute little t-shirt with yellow cuffs here and yellow collar. And then to go over the top, <laughs> these bright yellow zebra dungarees. <laughs> Look at how cute they are. On first reflection, the G, the dungarees do, do feel quite thin, but I think that's the point. They're meant to be like kind of a linen material and they'll be perfect for like traveling if you're going to like a hot country or anything like that. Really, really like these. I can't wait to put them on and see what they look like. I also got Jace this. Now you guys probably know if you watch our channel all the time that I'm not a massive fan of denim on babies, but once they get to like that toddling age, I do think they look cute and I saw this and I thought that's really different and different to anything I've seen like in the UK. So I ordered it and I'm so happy with it. It's like a light denim romper. It's got cute little giraffes in the pocket and then on the back it's got two little giraffes as well. I love giraffes and I'm really, really pleased with this. It feels like amazing quality. Although it's denim, it still feels super soft and it's also stretchy, which I think is really important for babies who are, you know, active. So yeah, I'm really happy with this one. So I thought I'd show you guys a couple of the outfits that are like family type matching. But before I do, I'm just gonna give you a quick look at these. I'm not going to get them all out of the bag because I feel like I didn't realise how much I'd ordered and I feel like this is going on for ages and ages and ages but I ordered a cute little panda romper it's like an all-in-one romper um, it looks super cute you guys can see Jace wearing all these when we go on holiday um, and then I ordered this really cute pineapple t-shirt with some really nice deep green shorts which looks adorable this is another romper it's got a koala bear on the front and it says say hello says hello and I thought that was really sweet another shirt and short set dinosaur one I don't remember ordering that dinosaur one actually maybe I did and then lastly this is a dress this is actually for Isla so I thought I'd really quickly show you a couple of the matching family type outfits that you can get the first one is this pink dress that I got for me and Isla but it actually doesn't fit me I tried mine on last night and I look like an actual flying piggy um, <laughs> It doesn't fit me um, but this is Isla's and it's so so cute I do think like these will be better for people that are slimmer than me I'm like a 16 and I think I, I can't remember what size I ordered I think it was a large but it might have even been an extra large but it was still too tight I could get it on but it just felt tight around like the boob area on the buttons so I wouldn't be comfortable wearing it until my boobs have shrunk a bit but yeah still a really cute skirt and I'm sure Isla dress sorry and I'm sure Isla will really love wearing this so the first matching set that I got for Isla and Jace I love it's adorable the reason that I didn't get Isabel and Esme matching just in case anyone's wondering is, is because they're too babyish for them they didn't want them but I was very excited so it's this really cute little rainbow romper which is obviously for Jace it's a shorts one and it's just super cute and then to match that Isla has the same but in a dress and oh my goodness it's so so cute it's got so much material so it's really like floaty and then on the back I absolutely love that it crosses over like that oh my goodness I can't wait to get a picture of them in this this next one is very similar to the one I just showed you but it's not the same and I do love bright rainbow colors so again for Jace it's super cute, bright, really nice, bright, vibrant colours, which I love. And then for Isla, the matching dress, which is so cute. Showing them all your dresses, Isla. It's got really cute detail on the back and it feels amazing. It's actually quite heavy, so you can tell there's a lot of material. 
and oh my gosh, can you just imagine? They're gonna look adorable. Me and Isla also got a black and white matching dress, but I've already packed those away. She packed hers in a bag yesterday and I packed mine this morning. So I can't show you that one, but we will show you that on holiday. It does fit really nice, that one. But this last one I'm going to show you is actually for me, Isla and Jace. So unfortunately when I've just got Jace's out, it looks quite big, but it's so cute and I love the, the feels amazing. Basically, Isla's got the dress version, which is similar to the pink one, but this one's really stretchy and it feels so nice. It's also got pockets on the side, which is cool. And then for me, the exact same in my size. So we'll all be able to wear that together. If you made it to the end of this haul, I feel like I should say well done. <laughs> that was a lot longer than I expected. I actually ordered those clothes quite a long time ago before we went to, was it before we went to Scotland? I can't remember, but it was a while ago and I'd forgot about half of them. But overall, I am massively impressed. I absolutely love clothes that you can't get in places here that are a little bit different. Also, if I'm being honest, I've really struggled for summer clothes for Jace this year. I don't know, I think it's probably something to do with like the virus and things like that, and maybe the clothes um, that were due in some of the shops got sent back or didn't get used, I'm not sure. But usually I'll get Jace like loads of cute summer outfits from places like Matalan, and they've got nothing in for boys at the minute, nothing at all. Um, Asda, I've got a few bits, but still not a massive amount. So I'm really glad that I ordered those and I've got Jason nice big summer haul now. And I'm really impressed with the quality and things. So if anybody's um, wondering about Pat Pat, can't massively comment on adult wear, but it's definitely cool for kids. Right, I need to take pictures of the rest of my blankets now, which includes me moving the sofa that I'm sat on right to the other side of the kitchen, bringing in a coat rack, coat stand, because I'm gonna try and hang the blankets on that and hopefully, hopefully the picture will turn out okay. We just went and got a McDonald's. I got a Coke and then obviously, always, when you go to McDonald's, always get McFlurry. We went and we got a McFlurry from McDonald's. Oh my gosh, we nearly missed the train. How fast did we run? Oh my gosh. <laughs> To me, it's way my drink and it's going like this everywhere. It was going everywhere, my drink. It was hilarious. Anyway, we're just on the tra train on the way back home now. And then I'm going to meet up with mum and dad who are picking me up. I had such a good day today. I'm going to give you guys a little... I didn't really buy much, but I'm going to give you a mini haul when we get back home. We just got into the train station and the funniest thing we nearly got stuck on the train because we were trying to grab all of our bags, weren't we? And the people were like waiting, and then the alarm for the dolls went off like beep, 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 beep. So we ran so fast. And we got out, and I was like, wait, do we even have anything? And the guy was really nice, and he said, oh, it's fine, we'll just wait to check you've got everything. Oh, I had to open all my bags, this guy was just stood here like, and I thought, like, oh, we've got everything. He's like, okay, the train went. We started walking, and Mimi threw her ice cream everywhere. <laughs> it went everywhere. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we just found a bin and put everything, but literally there's ice cream everywhere. Anyway, um, I'm just waiting for mum to get here. Mimi's waiting for her mum to come pick us up. So we're just gonna like chill, sit here, and then, oh, I'm gonna say goodbye. <laughs> She's like, yes, get in, you're going. Um, but it's, we've got to see each other for like ages until probably like Christmas time. It's gonna be like, what month are we in? June. <laughs> June, what month are we in? July, August, September, October, November, December. So like five months ish. Well, four. But we'll see each other in like four months. But that's still so long. Anyway, we're going to wait for my mum to get here and then I'll give you guys the haul. So we're all back home now and I just thought I'd quickly do what I bought. So I didn't actually get a lot of things um, because yesterday I got like so much things. I got so much. Um, so I only got a couple of things today, but it was it was kind of just to go see my friends um, before, you know. So, like, okay, yeah, so first I'll do this. So I got this really cute crop top from Hollister, and it was, I think it was 30% off. It's really cute. I thought it was really nice. So I got that, and it was 30% off, which was really good. I think it was, like, £8 or something like that, when they're normally, like, 14 So it was really good. Um, then I got some makeup, so I got my own foundation this was i think this this was eight pounds um on a nine like eight pound 90 or something so it's like nine pounds and i got it in that warm nude shade and then i also got a fit me maybelline concealer i think this, this is maybelline as well both maybelline they're really really good i always use maybelline like the, the mascaras for maybelline the foundation really good so i can't remember how much this was i think this was five pounds for the concealer and then i also 
also got this which was £2.50 and it was a brow gel which I've always like kind of wanted one um I think you can use it on your eyelashes as well but I'm just gonna look in the mirror so I can see but um I never really used to do anything with my eyebrows like I never used to like do anything with them just because I don't know I never used to but recently um I've been trying like I've just been like doing them a bit more often one thing that I really don't like about my eyebrows is though ages ago when I was like little um I was in my old bedroom and I had loads of wallpaper on the walls and we had to like take the wallpaper off when we were moving house and do you know like those things that you get under the, the wallpaper to like shove it off? I can't remember what they're called. It's like a tool that's got like a top like that. And I was doing that and I got to a really like hard bit on the wall. And I was doing it like really, really hard. And I did it too much and I flung it back and it hit me in the eyebrow. So can you see I've got, I don't know, can you see it in the camera? Yeah. Right there, I've got like a little like random weird gap. If I brush them up, you can't really see it, but when you see my eyebrows, eyebrows down, um, I've got like this really weird like just space on my eyebrows and I don't like fill my eyebrows in just because I don't, I don't really want to, but it's like right there. It's really annoying. Oh my goodness, what an absolute day. It's been so busy. It's been crazy. It's been crazy. <laughs> not helped so much the fact that Jace has not felt great today, bless his heart, after his jabs yesterday. So he's been really clingy and really cuddly and it's it's been really nice snuggling up to him. But I have so much through today. It takes me hours through the blanket pictures. Thankfully, the pictures are done right now and I just need to work on editing them all, but that's gonna be probably in, in the early hours of the morning. This this night, this night, tonight, tomorrow morning, whatever, I, I, I can't even think anymore, because right now I need to go to a million shops, not really, I need to go to Matalan, because some of the clothes I got Chris yesterday, was it, whenever I vlogged doing it, the day before, don't fit, I need to take those back in exchange for a different size, some flip flops, I've got Esme don't fit, I need to get them in a different size, I need to take Isabel to Specsavers to pick up her glasses, yeah. I need to go to the pound shop and get some, I'm spitting everywhere, plastic wallets, <laughs> Where else I need to go? I needed to go to B&M, but I think that's going to have to wait till another day because I just can't stretch in anymore today. Anyway, we're going to head on up to the pound shop now um, with Isabel. She's been out with her friends today. I don't know if anybody's yeah. mentioned that on the vlog. Did you take a camera? I did. I took a camera and I filmed a little bit while I was in there. Oh, so she took a camera, so you will have seen whatever she filmed. Yes. Anyway, we're going to get up to get your glasses now. Yay! Are <laughs> you excited? Yeah, I'm so happy. So we're just in the pound shop and we're picking up some supplies like schooling supplies. Is it? That's really cute. Oh, I, don't, I don't know. Do you think the girls would need a book? But look. Is it, we've got quite a lot actually. <laughs> oh, we've got quite a lot in there. Um, these are Isabel's here. And then I think you should get the girls one as well. Yeah, I think maybe these. Come on, maybe these two. Think those are cute. Those yeah. two colours. Isn't that nice? I don't know. Maybe those ones. I can't, I don't I'm sure they'll like any. Guys, I'm not going to lie and say that I'm not proper impressed with my new little visor. <laughs> I don't care that I look an absolute tool. I'm not joking, this is so much better than having the mask over your face when it's so hot inside shops. <laughs> they did do like adults ones with just a black strip or a white strip, but the lady said, when you put your head down like this, the bottom part here knocks the thing up sometimes. And she said, I think your face would fit a kid's one. So I got myself a kid's one. FaceTime Chris and he's like go back and get us all some they're they're amazing so I'm gonna go back and get us all some now also good when you're vlogging because you've had quite a lot of messages saying that you can't hear what I'm saying or for lip readers as well so there we go we'll be wearing these for an hour we just got back in the car and realized that we didn't update you guys about Isabel's glasses mm. so I had a missed call whilst we were away in Scotland and I thought oh they're calling me because your glasses are ready fab stupidly didn't ring back I just thought I don't need to ring back they're just ringing to say glasses are ready went in there and I was like oh we tried to call you because um there was a problem with the glasses etc etc so we've not ordered them in and so now I know it's not, no, it's not their fault um so that's why we've not got Isabel's glasses anyway we're just about to head on home now let's go home yes I am Guys, I've got two very excited um, little ones right now. Middle a ones. Hundred Robux. I've never so, had Robux before, guys. So, <laughs> so basically, they play a game called Adopt Me Roblox something. And they collect pets and and it's for the whole game. Like Robux. It's not just on Adopt Me. Yeah, it's not. It's, the it's whole not game. just. It's just for all of these. Like, like wow. Like all. 
all these guys. I don't know what they're talking about, but they've been asking for Robux for absolutely months, and I kept saying no, because I don't know if I'm the only parent that's... Maybe I'm tight, I don't know, but I just feel like <laughs> money. And I'm like, well, what does these things buy? Well, I can get an outfit for my little avatar character, and I'm you like... You can buy pets and I'm everything. spending £10 to give a little digital pet a blooming outfit. It's fun! No, give us an outfit, like, and as well. It. Yeah, but you win the game! I just spent five pound and I'm what that outfit. Real, so that pretty. Really pretty outfit. But anyway, I've got a bit of mum guilt today because I will be honest, these two have just been sat all day pretty much on their own because I've just not stopped all day today. Chris has been busy with the caravan and also with Jace who's been feeling a bit tender. Isabel went out with her friends, so these two have kind of just been sat on their own all day and I don't know. They said, have you thought about us having any Robux? And I was like, oh, go on then. And they've had a bit of a late night as well tonight. It's like 10 o'clock, I think right now so it is bedtime anyway we're going to end the vlog here and um, I'm gonna leave these two to go mm, get a cheap one <laughs> so serious Laughing. thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you back here tomorrow at 5 p.m. <laughs> good night guys mm.